Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how you can create this moody green color grading effect in Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is James, and if it is the very first time to this channel, and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom, and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So in this tutorial guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this moody green colour grading effect in Photoshop 2020. And then guys, I'm going to show you how you can turn this into an action so you can create this effect using just one button. Now, this effect works really nice when you want to be applying it to maybe a rural photo. So maybe if you went into the forest, or maybe if you took a photo in a garden. And this particular effect doesn't work really well if you want to apply it to more of an urban environment, such as maybe if you shot in a city or a town. So do take that into consideration when you're thinking about applying this effect. Now, if you do want to have a look at any of the pre-selected photos that I found work really well with this effect, and you can use the same photo that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, then go ahead to the link in the description and you can download it from there. But without further ado, guys, let's get started. Right, guys, so once you've got onto your computer, you want to choose a photo. And today, I'm going to be using this photo, which is from unsplash.com. So again, the link is in the description. So what we want to do is to create this nice moody green color grading effect by changing the greens and the yellows and reds in the photo to ch just change their hue and then also change their brightness. So the way we can do this is by creating a few layers. So the first layer we're going to create is a hue and saturation layer. So we're going to go down to our adjustment layers in the bottom right hand corner and we're going to go all the way up to where you can say hue and saturation. Now, when we go into hue and saturation, you can see we've got our hue, saturation and lightness. But if you go to where it says master and click, as you can see, it drops down into a bunch of different color bands. So that means you can change the colors independently from each other and they won't end up uh, changing all together. Now, what we can do is go going to our yellows and then what we want to do is reduce the saturation of our yellows by 30%. And then we also want to reduce the lightness of that also to minus 30 as well. Next, what we want to do is go to our green channel, which is this channel here. And then what we want to do is completely remove any brightness from it. So we can take our lightness from here and move it completely to the left hand side. And as you can see, this effect is already starting to take shape. And then what we want to do is our last one we want to do is go to our cyans. And then what we want to do is reduce that to minus 30 is our saturation. And then our lightness, we want to do exactly the same. So we want to reduce that by minus 30. And as you can see at the bottom here, you can see how these colors are now working well with each other. So you can see where the greens are, it's been completely reduced in brightness. Right, so now what we need to do is just fix the skin tones because I find when we create this effect, the skin tones are sometimes lost and we don't want to end up affecting, we just want to affect kind of the greens and the blues. So what we can do is go down to our adjustment layers and the one we want to click is selective color, which is the one right at the bottom. So when we select that, you can see again, it looks very similar to the hue and saturation. And again, where you can see colors, if you click, as you can see, all the colors are broken down. But to this time, we've got whites, neutrals, and blacks added. So what we're gonna do is choose reds first, as we always start at the top. And what we want to do is reduce the cyans in reds by minus 50. Now this will, because red is the opposite of cyan, it will boost the reds in the skin tones, creating a better skin tones. Then what we want to do is go to our yellows and we want to decrease the yellow cyans in yellows by 50% and then with the magentas we want to increase it by 50% so it should end up looking something like this. And then if we go to our green channel we want to completely remove any cyan from the greens. We also want to, sorry, we want to increase the cyans in the greens. We also want to increase magentas in the greens. But this time we want to decrease the yellows in the greens and increase blacks. Lovely. Right, so what we want to do now is just go to our cyan channel and we want to reduce all of the yellow in the cyan. So we'll do reduce it just like so. Now what we want to do is go to our neutrals. 
Now this is where all of the kind of midtones are found, so it'll affect the entire image. So what we want to do is increase cyans by 5%, and we also want to increase the magentas by minus 5%. So as you can see, it's kind of brightened the whole area up by adding in green, because green is the opposite of magenta. And then we want to do something very similar with the blacks. We want to decrease the cyans, so we do minus five, just like so. And then we want to increase the magentas in the blacks, so we'll do five, like so. And as you can see, it's created this more of a dark magenta -y look instead of a green. Lovely. So all we need to do now is we just need to fix the blues and the cyans. So again, what we're gonna do is we'll create another hue and saturation layer. So we'll go all the way up, and we're gonna create another hue and saturation like so. So again, guys, click where it says master, and we have our drop downs, but this time we want to go to cyans, and we want to increase the cyan saturation by 50. And then again, we want to do exactly the same with blues. So go to your blue channel, choose saturation, and increase it by 50%. Lovely. Right, so there's just a few more effects left. What we need to do is now we need to create a gradient map. We need to create more of a sunset look. So we're gonna to go to our gradient map here, which is the second to bottom in our adjustment layers. And what we want to do is click where it says uh, this kind of gradient appears and you'll come up with your gradient editor. Now the one we want to use is we want to use this one here, which has got a lovely dark blues to oranges. And it's actually one of your uh, kind of thumbnails that you can get free with Photoshop. But you can also create it yourself if you would like. But it's called Violet Orange if you are wondering. And all we need to do is just press OK. So once we've got this, what we need to do is change the blending mode and opacity. So make sure we've got our gradient map selected. We want to go to where it says normal, which is where our blending modes are. And we want to drop this all the way down to where you can see it says soft light. And then we just want to reduce this down opacity wise to 20%. Lovely, right, it's really starting to take shape now. But again, we just need to, I would say we probably need to increase the vibrancy. So we go, in, go down to our adjustment layers and go all the way up to where you can see it says Vibrance. And what we want to do is increase this by 40. Lovely. So this will just go over the entire image and just increase the vibrancy of the colours. Lovely. So I think what we probably want to do now is just fix the blacks because I still think they're a little bit too dark and I think we want to create a more of a matte look to this photo. So if we go to our adjustment layers, we want to go up to where it says Curves and we just want to raise the blacks, but without affecting the midtones. So we're gonna raise the blacks up to around 20, and then we're just gonna drop where it looks like the midtones are, and then just fix the line so it's more straight. And then again, you can raise the, raise it up to as, whatever you like, but to create this nice kind of matte look in the shadows and blacks. Lovely. Okay, so I think one more thing, and I think we're done. So I think what we're gonna do is go and create a vignette so we're gonna to go to our adjustment layers. We're gonna go up to where it says gradient, which is second to top. And then what we want to do is where it says style of our gradient, we want to choose radial. And then what we want to do is where you can see where it says reverse, we just want to tick that. So it's the outside like this. And then we want to increase the scale to around 300%. Lovely. And then probably just group all of these together. So select the gradient, select hue and saturation and then press Command G on our keyboard to group those layers. And then we can just name it Edits. Lovely. So if you do the before and after, there we go. That's how you can create a moody green color grading effect in Photoshop. But now I'm gonna show you how you can turn this into an action. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to uh, turn that off. So what we can do is go to our windows and what you want to do is go to where it says actions. I've already got it on the uh, right hand side here. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of actions here. And as you can see, I've got one called Moody Green. So all you'll need to do is you'll just need to create a new folder. And then what you want to do is click this button here, which is create new action and just name the action and then place it within a group or a set. And then what you want to do is repeat everything that we've just done completely. And then what you want to do is click the pause button and that will save the action. 
And then if you ever want to create this effect again, all you need to do is hover over it. Because if I could drop down, you can see all of the actions that we've done. It's saved them all. And then all you need to do is click on here and then press play. And what it will do is it will create the exact same effect that we ended up with creating earlier, but just using one button. And there we go, guys. So that's how you can create a moody green color grading effect in Photoshop and then saving it as an action. So you can create this effect using just one button. Brilliant. And there we go, guys. So that is how you can create this amazing moody green color grading effect in Photoshop and then how to turn it into an action. So you can just create this effect using just one button in Photoshop. Again, guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future content. But until next time, guys, keep creating.